Hello. This is an attempt to show you a quick tutorial on how to real-time noise cancel uh, your microphone. So it sounds a bit more like this and a bit less than this. Hopefully you can hear the um, horrendous kind of crackle, system, system crackle. Uh, horrendous. You can also <coughs> help do this with an external USB mic, hope, I think. But it always wants to put system noise in, into the recording. Horrible. Shielded mics, maybe. I know. PC crackle. Horrid. I'm gone. A little bit bassy, because uh, I've cut out the frequency. Um, I've got various other things, but that's the one I'm mainly using. Explore for yourself. Um, devices. So this is using Floorfish, Deessa, Expander, Noise Gate. Amazing. So, Wave. I'm going to take the input port, headphone, headset microphone, output port, the voice meter input. So the output port is voice meter input. Uh, it's 44 I only get. And I'm going for 882 samples, 50 bits per second, but you can experiment. Uh, I don't like doing this because it can crash it, but if I go down one, okay, one, two, hear the critical, critical crackle, devices, wave, let's go up one, there you go, one, two. Okay, so it, bear with me, it takes a bit of setting up. You need to get hold of floor fish. Voice meter, which is this amazing stuff, and a program that will run Floorvish VST. Now you can use uh, Reaper; it's pretty good, 60 quid, um, unless you're uh, industry, uh, and then it costs 400 quid. Uh, and you need uh, something called Savvy Host um, KNX. No, sorry. Savvy Host NKX86, 32-bit, and the, that NKX is no keyboard. Um, no keyboard, 32-bit. You copy that into the folder that has um, your plugin. I put mine into music. Um, yeah, floorfish.dll. Um, it's a 32-bit plugin. It's freeware. The guy's not continuing it because he's got a job in industry, um, and he's, he may not keep this up for much longer. So, go and give him some support, some love, and grab it. Floorfish. So it's floorfish. Oh, sorry. You, you change Avi Host into you rename it floorfish.exe, and then you run it. So you copy Savvy Host into the same directory as your VST plugin. You rename Savvy Host as floorfish.dll. Sorry, that's floorfish.exe. You click it and it runs that. Amazing. And uh, that brings it up as so. Um, you need to change the devices. Um, devices wave. I'm, I'm going to keep repeating myself and hopefully it'll sink in. But the input port is just your microphone headset or just your microphone. Your output port is the voice meter input. Okay. If you've got problems, right click and recording devices. Default is the headset, well, the microphone for the recording. Playback will be voice meter input, is your default device for playback. Playback to voice meter input. Very important. So that brings that up. There we are. <coughs> and make sure these are set down. You don't want to get a feedback loop. If you get a feedback loop, immediately close floor fish. Don't hang about. You don't want to damage anything. And then your hardware out is your headset or your whatever you want the out to be. So you can take various inputs. You take virtual input um, and 
you can put it all together, mix it up, and hardware out into voice meter. So just to recap, um, this tutorial is how to turn um, microphone sounds and get rid of the noise. So I'm going to bypass it. So I'm louder, but I've also got a hell of a, hell of a lot of crackle. There you go. That's the first thing. And I can do this. So I'm setting that to over here. That's that one. Just to say again, devices, microphone in, voice meter input is the out. Then I've cut the bass. I'm going to hold my breath now. So that was not me breathing, that was just the bass noise. And the equalizer here, the mid. And for high. Probably don't hear anything on the high. And uh, that's pretty much it, really. <laughs> How to real time cancel noise from your microphones and um, I hope you realize just how awesome this is because um, to do this with hardware costs thousands of pounds but in real time there's a slight delay so um, good luck and I hope it's of use and just passing on the good vibes from people who've given this software as donationware and freeware pass it on